my name is Sarah Meunier, and I'm a lecturer here in the Department of Chemical Engineering. As we work our way through these slides, I will endeavor to answer five questions. What is chemical engineering? What do chemical engineers do? What will I learn in my chemical engineering degree? Where will I study? And what career opportunities will I have? First off, what is chemical engineering? Chemical engineering takes principles from the sciences like physics, chemistry, and biology, and combines them with mathematics. In chemical engineering, we learn how to design and implement processes and form valuable products. Let's take a minute to break that down. We take our basic principles from science and math, and then as engineers, we apply those principles for practical purposes. The specific problems that we aim to solve as chemical engineers are wide ranging. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. We are challenged to solve these problems in a safe, environmentally friendly, and economical fashion. Now let's move on to our second question. What do chemical engineers do? That's an easy one. We design products and processes. We monitor, analyze, and improve operations. We supervise technicians, and we manage a variety of teams, both large and small. Our third question was, what will I learn in my chemical engineering degree? I think you can probably take a good guess at some of the topics we'll cover. So here's a little bit more detail. For our core engineering courses, we start off with a lot of science and math. Once we have that solid foundation in science and math, we start doing more process-based courses like reaction engineering, heat transfer, and thermodynamics. The final group of courses are spread throughout the curriculum and involve topics like simulation, modeling, and control. The fun part comes with our technical electives. So we have a series of these electives that you can choose based on your personal interests. Things like air pollution control, energy conversion, polymer reaction engineering, food process engineering, and simulation and optimization. Let's take a quick look at the logistics of the chemical engineering degree here at Waterloo. Our first year students get split into two groups. That's stream four and stream eight. For the most part, we alternate between four months of school term and four months of a co-op opportunity. Each of these groups has an opportunity in their third year to do an eight month co-op so that you can take on a bigger job placement. And we make sure at the end that we have eight straight months of school so that we can work on an amazing project at the end of our degrees. This is our capstone project. Our fourth question was, where will I study? Engineering 6, or E6, as we like to call it, is kind of our chemical engineering headquarters on campus. Most of our faculty, offices, and labs are in E6. We also have some great study areas and some classrooms as well. One of the exciting things that we have in E6 is a capstone design lab. And this is a lab that's just for those fourth year students who are working on their project that I mentioned before. DWE is another one of our, the buildings that we use a lot. And we use this one mostly for undergraduate teaching. So we have a lot of our undergraduate laboratories there as well as our computer classrooms. Finally, accessible to all engineering students are a series of computer classrooms and computer study areas, as well as our student shops. 
shops like the machine shop, the prototyping center, and the paint shop. Our last question was what career opportunities will I have? This one is a tough one because I could spend all day telling you about the jobs that chemical engineers have. When I was doing my undergraduate degree, I worked in a pulp and paper plant, a water treatment facility, a company that specialized in building retrofitting, the federal government, so Natural Resources Canada, and a computer simulation company. Other options include petrochemicals, high tech, the food industry, specialty chemicals, biotechnology, and the list goes on and on. Alternatively, there's also the option to do graduate studies and become a researcher or a professor in academia, if academia is something that you find that you're passionate about. The last thing I want to show you is some of the places you'll find chemical engineers. The first one is the polymer industry. This is a super popular one for chemical engineers, so making different types of plastics. There's advanced materials, so things like high purity chemicals, um, specially engineered polymers or nanomaterials. We have biotechnology. This is where I like to hang out. Um, things like biopharmaceuticals, biofuels, biopolymers. We also have fuels and renewable energy. So this is one of our standard um, places where you'll find chemical engineers, the oil and gas industry, wind and solar energy, fuel cells and batteries. And this overlaps a lot with biotechnology because we also have that biomass and biodiesel production. We have the resource industries, so things like extraction and refining of metals like gold, iron, or nickel. Consumer products, so those are things that you'll bring home with you um, from a store, so food uh, products and detergents and cleaning products pharmaceuticals and different types of packaging. The automotive industry is also a really popular one for chemical engineers. There are two different ways you can go in the automotive industry. One is different types of materials and the other is looking at fuels and pollution control. Then we have the chemical process industries. So bulk and fine chemicals. Uh, a lot of the chemical process industry looks at either new facility design or retrofit of existing facilities. The last one on this list is health, safety, and environmental protection. But we know, of course, that that's probably the most important one on our list. Things like site remediation, climate change mitigation, pollution control. I want to thank you so much for being part of this video presentation. I look forward to seeing you on campus. If you have any questions at all, feel free to send me an email and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you.